There's an MP here who does not want to be on camera, please. Give me a break. Drama queens, prima donnas. Hello, people. Hello. Hi. Who are you? I'm Nadine. I'm Jane, her mum. You are? And now, I mean, is this, I, I would say is this a vaccine injury story, but you look incredibly healthy. Uh, no, quite the opposite. I've never been vaccinated in my life. I don't vitamin K, nothing. Nothing and at all. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. The same age as my girl, Bella. Yeah. And thanks to this one who did her research. <laughs> so you yeah. haven't had? No, I have no, hadn't, hadn't had anything. So perfectly healthy. Now, have you been sick um, ever? I have, but I recovered very quickly and a lot quicker than a lot of the other children as well. Um, I've had whooping cough. I've had. Um, Chicken pox and recovered quite quickly from it, and uh, and I got it from all the vaccinated kids at school. So <laughs> you got them from the vaccinated kids. Yes, well. she got hoop and cough. Hoop and cough. Our area got ninety eight percent vaccination rates, so she's one of the few that wasn't vaccinated, and she still got hoop and cough. So. So you caught it from the vaccinator. Yes. We hear that all the time. Yeah. There was an outbreak in our area. Yeah. 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 Cool. So. Now, um, how is, are you slow to learn? Pardon? Do you have trouble learning? No. no. Do you struggle in class? No. <laughs> uh, do you have autism? No. So you don't no. have any learning difficulties, anything no, at all? No, no. Do you have wrong. allergies? No, I have no allergies. Never suffered with any kind of health problems at all. So, yes, very lucky. No earaches no baby. Earache. You know what, to be honest, it's not even luck. It's the fact that you didn't vaccinate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I wasn't vaccinated. Because yeah. every single vaccine story that we do has allergies or an issue of some kind. Yeah. That, that people are now starting to believe is normal. Mm. Yeah. So what, what is your profession? What do you want to be or are? Uh, well, I'm trying to get into hairdressing. We need good hair. You look at this hair. Yes. <laughs> What's the secret be but behind the um, healthiness of it? Good health. Good, not vaccinated. Good diet. I'm not vaccinated. It's really thick. It's like Princess Catherine's hair then. <laughs> and will you be a natural hair stylist? Uh, hopefully in the future, yes. I think you have to go through the, the pots and stuff first. But... you got to learn the trade. Yeah, you've got to learn then... the trade and then... Because there's a big demand business. for healthy, healthy everywhere. I think around here as well, there's a few hairdressers that are um, into the natural products and yeah, so well, your picture of how it's wonderful. Now, what made you decide not to vaccinate your daughter? Well, my son, who would have been 33 in September, he was vaccinated. He started having um, problems from day one. He had conjunctivitis. He had. Then they told me he had asthma a bit later on, and I said, "Well, there's no asthma in my family whatsoever." It wasn't asthma, he had earaches, he started breathing like Darth Vader when he was a little baby and I couldn't, I used to be able to hear him from the lounge when he was in his bedroom breathing um, and he was like that, if he got a cold I'd have people stop me in the street asking if he was, you know, dying or if he was okay. And he grew out of that a little bit, but he had his tonsils and adenoids out, they said it was the cause, you know, that was the cause. Um, I was really reluctant to do it, but I did it, and he, he was okay. Um, at five years old, he had his school vaccinations, and then I picked up a magazine article, and this is going back like 28 years ago, um, and it was about vaccinations, and I just went, oh my God, what have I done? Um, and I read everything I could get my hands on. I went to the library, I got books, I just read magazine articles. And then I just said, if I ever have another child, they're never getting vaccinated. I'll never vaccinate another child, an animal, anything again. And when I started talking about it, my father told me that when I was born, he wouldn't vaccinate because he didn't trust them. And that's nearly 60 years ago. 
so I wasn't vaccinated as a child either. And I, was, I had measles, I had chicken pox, I had scarlet fever. I only got whooping cough when I caught it off my daughter as an adult. And when I went to the doctor, the doctor said to me, oh, you're too old to have whooping cough. And you would have been vaccinated. And I said, well, I wasn't actually. And um, anyway, that was, he wouldn't do a test. So I had to go to another doctor to get a test to have it confirmed. Um, that we both had whooping cough and, and I'm healthy, don't get sick, never go to the doctor. Um, I took Nadine when she was three months old to the doctor to have a three month checkup and got the vaccine, you know, things run on my face. And one of the doctor's responses to what I said to him when I said, well, what have you done to my son? He said, oh, we know how to store vaccines now. And I said, oh, that's great. So when, when my son was born, you didn't know how to store vaccines. Is that what you're telling me? And he just was quiet. And then he said to me, his last words were, well, if you're prepared to ride on the herd of you know, immunity um, to keep your daughter well, and I said, oh, I'm more than happy to do that. And um, never been back. So, yeah. <laughs> and I joined the AVN when Nadine was five because they needed a um, exemption, you know, vaccine exemptions to go to school. And that's now I met Meryl. And she'd been on TV when, when the media was still showing people that were talking about vaccines in the media. They don't do that anymore. Meryl is amazing. She's she not is. feeling very well right now. Oh, really she? sad. Yeah, yeah. She's really not very well. She's burning up with a fever over there. She didn't look well. I hope she didn't catch whooping cough all the, all that, <laughs> of the whooping cough kids running around the beach down there. What can you say? <laughs> that's right. No, well, they're all you're, not vaccinated here in Byron. I know, I, I can't believe since yeah. you touched down in Australia that the majority of the interviews we're doing is unvaccinated. Really? Yes, okay. and healthy, just like you. <laughs> yeah, you've got the picture of your eyes are glistening, it's all wonderful. So thank you so much thank for telling you. your story. Thank now, you. who thank are these people on. down there? Do we know these people? Are they part of your family? That's my sister. She's and not it's, vaccinated either. She's not vaccinated? No. Right, let's go and have a chat with her. <laughs> Still not here, good job we did it. Hello everybody, now you're the sister. Yes. And apparently you haven't had any vaccines either. Never. And I'm 56 and I take no medication. I haven't been to a doctor for 15 years. And Have you got any illnesses? No. Have you ever had, I mean, did you catch chicken pox and measles and all those things that we caught as children? Yeah, oh yeah, I had mumps and chicken pox. And you survived, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, any cancer? And when they had whooping cough, they coughed all over us and I didn't catch it. Now, what about cancer? No, none of that. See, this is very interesting. The unvaccinated adults. Where's the cancer, people? Where is the cancer in the unvaccinated adults? Tell me. get polio either. You didn't get polio. We didn't get polio. We didn't have a polio vaccine. So you didn't have polio vaccine or get polio. Look at you. And do you have scoliosis? No. Oh, wow. We haven't got anything. We haven't got anything. We have the allergies or eczema or asthma or, yeah, nothing. Strange. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's oh, wonderful. My have got everything. Yeah, well, that's what we're saying. In, in 50 plus, they're sick. They've got cancer. And everyone's, well, one in three people will have cancer because one in three people vaccinate. Yeah. Actually, I just made that up. I don't know how many people vaccinate. <laughs> but it, it sounds like right. Okay, 